Oh my goodness. I can't believe there's that many coming after us already. I hope we're far enough away from that. Yep, we are. Okay. All right, guys, uh, we made it back to the base. Um, I did damn near a full circle around the whole base. I didn't go as far out to the north as I should have or could have, you know, with the airdrop, but there's a big mountain here. But we basically did this circle all the way around here, and I did not find the airdrop. But what we did do is get a bunch of XP and a bunch of egg, bacon and eggs. So speaking of which, let's take this right now. Uh, so I got 45 eggs. We got 60 more meat. Plus, we still have some meat in here, too. Um, we have a a dog horde that came in. So I've been killing them them off. I don't know where it went. I hear it somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Don't want him messing up the base, man. I hit, oh, probably, I'd say about a dozen stomps and not a single one of them damn things had a honey in it. So just some kind of some bad luck with the honey, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get a bunch of bacon and eggs cooking up here. 
22. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. 18 minutes in total is what we need. So let's make sure that's queued up. Okay. Very good. Put some of these food items away here. And we need to grab a couple things that we're going to need for the Horde Knight. Uh, let's make sure we have a few vitamins with us. Uh, we'll grab an another thing of bandages. We want some pills and some honey in case we do get infected. And some of these if we get... Well, actually, this will cover lacerations. Uh, don't think we'll need a Fort Bites, but let's grab one anyway, just in case. We'll put this and this in the farming... Uh, farming thing? Farming chest? All of this stuff could go in here. we got a bunch of arrows, which is great. Let's turn the rest of these... Or, I'm sorry, not arrows. Feathers. Turn the rest of those feathers into that. Uh, this also goes into the farming crate. Uh, so we got a few molotovs, a few pipe bombs. We're not going to be able to use a ton of those, but we have enough to to uh, use a few here and there. That will go in this. This will go in here. Okay, I want all of this stuff in my inventory, uh, except for the uh, steroids. I don't think we need steroids for anything in particular. That'll just make us thirsty. And we said we didn't need these because we have the large medikits. We'll grab a full stack of 762, though I don't think we'll be using a lot of that on the Horde Knight. Now, we're mostly going to use our knife more than anything else. Um, and a few, like I said, pipe bombs and molotovs here and there. Um, okay, we don't need this with us. Um, but we do want the hammer, so let's grab that. And it's time to go. It's go time, baby. Did we grab all of the... Yeah, okay. So, hopefully this will... This will work. <laughs> We're going to find out really quick here. Just knife him. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of hordies. Okay, here. That's not the way things should have gone. Alright, here. We gotta get, uh... Oh my goodness! I can't believe there's that many coming after us already. Why the hell? There. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. Um, put these down here. I hope we're far enough away from that. Yep, we are. Okay. Well, my goodness, those window frames didn't last very long. Okay, that took a, took a little bit of damage there. Um, let's keep these also down on the toolbar. So, uh, if and when that breaks, we can replace it as quickly as possible. In fact, we might want to do that right now. Let's, um... Oh, jeez, there's so many of them. This is Horde Night 7? 15,000 XP for that. <laughs> oh, man. I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. I'm a little concerned, though, about... Here, right, can we grab this quick? Get it before she hits us. Um, a little concerned about this block up here. So let's do this. Let's grab and turn this into a plate. A catwalk plate. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, on face. And we'll put a couple of those up there just to help reinforce that. All right. Let's see if we can light these guys up. Thank goodness we have ex some explosives and molotovs. My word. Four skill points and another 15,000 XP. Wow. This seems like an awful lot for Horde Knight 7, I have to say. It really does. Okay. So, let's, yeah, let's get this. Oh, man, they broke that, too. Okay, we're going to have to really watch that. That's just too many, man. Hey, quit hitting me through the wall. That's cheating. Total cheats. 
Oh, come on, man. Bullshit. All right, we better take one of these. Nice. I can't believe this Horde Knight is so intense for a, a Day 7 Horde. Do we just have... Oh, you know, I know why it is. I just remembered. We have 300% XP, that's why. So our game stage is way higher than it would normally be. Okay, well, that explains it at least. That's what it is. Okay, we've got to keep this thing repaired or we are not going to be doing so well. Yeah, that explains it. Okay. Well, I'm just going to kind of keep using the Molotovs and the pipe bombs till we run out of them, and then hopefully things will calm down by then. Five skill ports already. Woo! Man, we're going to get some levels. Nothing else. Here, let's do this right now. Uh, we want to go to Perception, and let's just do Demolitions Expert right now, because it'll help us right here and now. <coughs> okay, no <coughs> excuse me, nothing else seems to be compromised yet at this point. Wait until Zulu... Zulu, uh, Tango Foxtrot hears about this night. See, the army didn't know there was blood moons, so there's something weird going on here that we're going to have to report to Alpha 6, our commanding officer. It's 17,000 XP, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. I'm really wishing we would have gotten some concrete mix now, but we're making it work. Oh, shit. That's not allowed, lady. If I can get a, a chance to actually replace that top lock. My goodness, another level. Get out of here, Edgar. Okay, we've got to we got to get that thing repaired after this next explosion here. Okay, I guess it's not in terrible shape. All right, let's use our pistol a little bit. My goodness, that's so many of them. Oh shit! How did you get in here? That was close. Yeah. 300, that's one of the disadvantages, ladies and gentlemen. Well, depending upon how you look at it, of having higher XP is... Uh, you get nastier hordes. This business of them hitting me through the wall, that's bullshit, though. Six skill points. All right, we have one explosive left after this. Got to keep that thing repaired or we're hosed. Okay, let's see if we can start taking some of them out with... Well, here, let's do one more explosion. And then it's up to our SMG from here on out. Look at all the bags out there. Okay, we're thirsty. Let's um, take one of these. A 
just do like short bursts here so we can conserve ammo. Okay, let's grab as many of these as we can while we can. Nice, we got an ergonomic grip. Okay, I can't quite get to those. Oh, are we done? I think we're done. Oh, man. Well, that was a very fast but very intense horde night. But I think we killed the horde. Okay, let's grab these. Oh, do we have our luckies on? Oh, man. Get the luckies on. Grab all this stuff here. We got a metric crap ton of levels too, guys. It's so awesome, man. Oh man, that was more intense than I was expecting, though, because I completely forgot that having 300% XP, um, you know, makes the hordes a lot worse just because by virtue of the fact that our game stage is so high. In fact, what is our game stage right now? Yeah, it's 46. Wow. Okay, well, we survived. That is definitely get out of there. That is definitely the important thing. Um, if we do Horde 14 here, and I don't know if we will or not, but if we do, we have got to have concrete for sure at that point. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I'll call that a success. It's just a little intense, and my blood pressure went up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many points we got. We got seven points, you guys, because we spent one. Oh, my goodness. That is just freaking awesome. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do Whirlwind. We're going to do Parkour. We're going to do Run and Gun. And then we're going to pump um, Agility itself to five, which means we now can do... I'm going to say archery and deep cuts to three. So that gives us all of that good stuff. Pause the screen if you want to, to read all of that. That is really good, man. And then for archery level three, we get all of that stuff. So basically 30% better for all of that good stuff. Uh, we are now 10% faster with attacks with whirlwind. And for parkour, we can... Reduce jumping costs, and we can fall two meters and jump one meter higher. What if that means we can now jump two blocks high? I don't know. We'll have to see. That was a lot of XP. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> All right. Very awesome. Well, I actually have to uh, take off in real life. Uh, so we're going to wrap up this episode here. And let's see. We also got uh, a couple well, clubs who... We don't really care about clubs, but we'll read them anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is the loot that we got. Oh, I guess that's the schematic, which we already know. But yeah, really good. Really, really good Horde Knight. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to let you guys go here, and then uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do in the morning, but we'll figure it out. We we need to definitely radio uh, Zulu Tango Fro Foxtrot and let them know that there's some, some kind of weird shit going on uh, on the seventh day. <laughs> <laughs> let the army know that and uh, we'll just kind of have some more fun with that role play and go from there so guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye